Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a Intel AMT machine in TLS mode with Mesh Commander. So I'm going to open up my Mesh Commander uh, tool here and I'm going to go ahead and connect to my trusty uh, machine that I work here, my AMT7, um, but this will work with AMT6 and higher. And um, and just before I start, TLS is super important. It allows encryption over the network between the console, that is uh, Mesh Commander or any console you have, and AMT. So um, kind of important if you're going to do uh, any kind of serious management on a computer. So to get started, we're going to focus on the Security Settings tab once we connect to a computer. And what you'll usually see is that there's no certificates inside AMT, and AMT is currently not set with TLS. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to add a certificate to AMT. And so we can add, um, we're not going to do add certificate, we're going to issue a certificate. And the difference here is add certificate just takes a certificate that we have and adds it to AMT. Um, but you can't add a certificate with a private key. Issue certificate creates a private key inside AMT and then uh, sets up the certificate around that key. So that's what we want. So we click that and um, you can select a root certificate file on the top. But a uh, little secret here is that if you don't select anything, then it will create a dummy certificate, use it and then throw the dummy root certificate. So all I'm going to do is keep this blank and say a B, C, D, you, you can put the common name, usually it would be something like mtmachine7 uh, dot uh, domain dot com or whatever, then your, your organization, your country and whatever. So you, you put those fields in and then you say OK. And a few seconds later, you will see the certificate pop up and you'll see the certificate uh, common name and it will say that it has a private key associated with that certificate. Um, and you can click on it, of course, and take a look at um, at the information and you'll see that because I didn't specify any issuer the tool just generated a untrusted root certificate as the issuer um, so for the purpose of this test this is good so you say OK and then once you have this you just go in TLS and click on one of these two links certificate you pick the certificate you want and then for remote and local you pick what mode you want and in this case I'm going to select server auth so TLS with server auth and non-TLS allowed. Now I'm currently connected with not TLS, uh, you know, with just plain text. So if I were to select server auth only, this would work. Uh, AMT would start using TLS, but I would lose my connection here. So what I'm going to do is just pick, for the purpose of this demonstration, server auth with non-TLS and say OK. And a few seconds, boom. Now you have AMT with TLS and without TLS. So if I connect to port 6993, it will work. And this certificate will be um, the certificate that the browser or the tool will receive. So so that's it. Now I can disconnect. If I wanted to, I can, um, I, can I have a, a TLS version here. I'm going to edit this. Uh, so I have, I have this tool set up with TLS. And so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and connect. And you're going to see that, aha, this machine has reported this certificate as being um, the certificate that it's using for TLS. It's untrusted. Do you want to connect anyway? I say OK. And it's go, go ahead and connect. And so you have uh, my TLS certificate here. At any time, I can click and see the AMT certificate. And it says pinned here. So I'm connected. But the, only, but the tool didn't really trust the certificate, um, but I said OK anyway, and it pinned the certificate. So it said, OK, I will trust the certificate for this specific machine. So, if you, um, so now everything is encrypted. I can go ahead and disconnect. And by the way, you'll see that AMT7 um, with TLS has this pinned certificate here, and you can click on it. You, see, you can right click and say view certificate, and it will show you the cert that it's pinned. So now, every time I connect back to that machine, it won't pop up the warning anymore. Because as long as the certificate reported by this machine matches this fingerprint of the pinned certificate, then it's OK. Right? So as long as, um, view certificate, as long as when you connect, 
the certificate that the machi this machine reports is equal to this, then the tool won't ask anything. At any point, I can just hit delete here or right click and say remove pinning. And now I can still connect, but you'll see, you should see the warning. Oh, didn't do it. Let's try this again. There it goes. So I, I did it a little too quickly. Um, but so now it's, it's popping up the warning and I can say, okay. And now it pinned it again. And I can hit disconnect. Okay, so this is how to do very basic TLS. Now, um, there's another way you can do this. I am going to go into network uh, security settings. I'm going to go ahead and remove TLS now. And so uh, what you do is you first have to go and set up disabled TLS right here. You say OK. Takes a few seconds. TLS is disabled. And then I can click on here and delete the certificate. There we go. So we're back to where we were before. Now, another way to, to enable TLS in AMT is to first get out of connected connection to a machine, go into this menu, and select Certificate Manager. So there's a built-in Certificate Manager inside Mesh Commander. And I'm going to go ahead and create a root certificate, my test root cert. And I can, sorry, cert. I can put ABC for or whatever information I want for my organization, province and states, and OK. And it's going to create my own root certificate. Now, once I have that, I can export it if I want to, uh, to put a password on it. I can load it up in other tools and so on. I can view the certificate. And by the way, once you've, when you view the certificate, there's a field on top. Is this a trusted certificate? I'm going to say yes. So for my purpose, um, it's going to say trusted here. That means that um, I want, when Mesh Commander connects to AMT machines that are signed by this certificate, I want uh, AMT uh, Mesh Commander to trust that certificate. Okay, so I got my own uh, new root certificate here. I'll go back to computer management. I'm going to go ahead and, by the way, I'm going to unpin this. Remove pinning. Okay, so now it's not pinned anymore. I'm going to say, okay, connect. So now I'm going to connect without TLS because right now the AMT has no TLS. I'm going to go into security settings and now I'm going to do issue certificate again. But now because I have a certificate in the, in the certificate manager, um, I have the choice between issuing a certificate from the certificate manager or from a file. So if I do file, I'm back to where I was before uh, on the previous example. But if I, I say certificate manager, I get to pick one of the root certificates in my manager. So I'm going to pick the only one I have. Then I'm going to uh, fill information here, AMT machine 7, A, B, C, and say OK. So now it's going to create a certificate, uh, AMT machine 7. When I click on it, instead of, of signing it by a dummy root, it signed it by the, the root certificate inside my certificate store. So now I can go ahead and click here and use AMT 7, machine 7 as my uh, TLS certificate. I'm going to also accept non-TLS for the purpose of this example. And boom, now I'm, TL I'm back to having TLS. And uh, by the way, you can see TLS cert here. That means that this, this certificate, ha the private key is inside AMT, and it's currently being used as, the, um, as a TLS certificate for AMT. OK, so now that I have that, AMT is back in TLS mode. I can disconnect. And I'm going to go ahead and try to connect using uh, this one, this TLS. And actually, here it's warning me, but it shouldn't. Well, it's going to take a while here. But basically, what, what now I'm back into TLS. I can click here. And you can see, oh, um, it's still detected. Yeah, it actually detected my root cert. So anyway, um, it, it would take a while here. But, but w because the certificate is signed by a root certificate that I trust, um, I don't need to do pinning anymore. So for the purpose of this example, I, I won't have to worry about it. But uh, basically, you, s you click View here. And as long as you put this as a trusted certificate, then, um, then uh, any certificate, any machine signed by that certificate will just connect correctly. Anyway, just I hope you get the gist of it. Um, Basically, the 
you know, it's very easy for uh, for anyone to put AMT into TLS mode with Mesh Commander. Also, once you've done it using your own root certificate, you can go here in the root certificate, um, uh, in the certificate store, you can export the certificate as a P12, import it into other tools, uh, or you can do the opposite. You can just drag and drop an existing root certificate that you have from another tool, import it in this uh, certificate manager, click view, say trusted, and you're good to go. I hope this was helpful. Thanks very much.